Hello and welcome to a video from FilmsByChris.com. This is part of a series. Be sure to check out the links in the description of this video to, uh, you know, my website and also my examples up here on GitLab. I highly recommend going there and downloading this. Today we're going to be creating a rapid fire shotgun. Actually, two rapid fire shotguns. Uh, we're going to create it from scratch mostly, but uh, you can see the example under weapons rapid shotguns. You can download this and just run it yourself. Uh, but let's go ahead and the first thing we need to do. Well, I have my uh, Zscript file here, which says to look at my rapid fire shotguns file. And then my rapid fire shotguns file is empty. Let's go ahead and go into my extras folder here, actors. And then down here under weapons, we have shotguns. And we have a few options here. Uh, we have the shotgun here and That's right, the shotgun here and then the super shotguns in a separate file. We're gonna put them both in one file here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the top part of this. I don't need this bottom part with the state provider. I just need the shotgun option here. I'm gonna paste it in here. Again, uh, we need to call it something else. I'll call it shotgun two, right? So, or actually it'd be better if I call it shotgun rapid. Okay, now, how do we uh, use it in the game? I am going to go in here and I am going to say, uh, actually let's say slot, weapon slot, and I'll say three. That will add it to the weapon slot. So we'll still have the regular shotgun, the double barrel shotgun, the super shotgun, and this shotgun. Okay, so how are we gonna determine that this is the gun that's being used? Uh, well, let's go ahead and make it rapid fire. Actually, first let's make it do a burst shot. So we come down here and you can see different options here. We have ready, we have deselected, we have selected, we have fire. These are all different states that this can be in, right? So here we can see these are the sprites being used. These are the frames being played. This is the delay, how long that lasts. And then right here you can see that we are uh, saying to shoot the shotgun. What would happen if I was to copy that a few times? Save that. And then we will say to load this up. Now we can't pick up this gun because it doesn't, it isn't an item in the game yet that's on any maps, but I gave myself a cheat code. Again, IDKFA, you know, that gives you all the ammo and keys. I'll hit three. And when I click my button to shoot, I just click the button once and it shot multiple times before cocking. So we know that we're doing that. If I hit three again, we have the double barrel shotgun. If I hit three again, we got the standard shotgun. And if I hit three again, we're back to our rapid fire. So we actually have multiple weapons in one slot. Uh, going back in here, we should be able to, in here say, replaces shotgun. And now, if I was to run this, I think we have removed the regular shotgun and now we will have this shotgun. So let's go ahead and IDKFA three. Hit three again. We got the super shotgun. If I hit three again, let's see what happens. Yep. So we now just replaced the regular shotgun. So you can go pick this up. When you pick up a shotgun, it will now use our rapid fire or burst shot in this case. So instead of a burst shot, we actually just want it to be uh, like a machine gun, right? All we have to do is cut out all these extra frames. So now, if we were to run it, and again, I'll use a cheat code to give myself these options. So I'm just holding it down, and as long as I hold it down, it's gonna shoot, which is great, but we can make it faster if we want. Because again, this is how long those frames last. Let's go ahead and make this one three. That should speed it up quite a bit. Instead of seven, it's three. We still have the three before it. IDKFA. Now the problem with this is well, we run out of ammo pretty quickly, right? If we were to go back into this file at the top here, 
we can see what type of ammo it uses. It uses shells. When you pick up one, how much do you get? You get eight. And then how much does it use each time? So I can change this to 10, right? And now every time I shoot, it's actually going to use 10 bullets instead of one, 10 shells instead of one. So that's not good, right? <laughs> Just like a shotgun, the super shotgun uh, uses two. IDKFA. Watch my shotguns down in the right corner, or my shells in the right corner. <laughs> and we are already out. But what's fun is you can set it to zero if you want and not use any. But you can also set it to a negative number. So now every time I, I shoot this rapid fire shotgun, it's actually going to be giving me ammo, right? That's a nice little perk. Let's go ahead and do a similar thing for the double barrel shotgun or the super shotgun. We will go back up here. Uh, let's go back here. We're going to go to extras, actors, and down here to weapons SG. That's the super shotgun. We will copy this. And we can just append that to our rapid fire shotgun. We could put it in a separate file if we want as well. Again, up here, we're going to call it super shotgun rapid and we will say replaces shotgun or sorry super shotgun again I have autocomplete stuff set because I've been configuring my vim setup for that uh, check out the links in the description you should be able to find my uh, my vim setup if you like to use vim uh, actually it's technically neo vim so here we're going to do the same thing let's look at this so when it fires the double barrel shotgun the super shotgun goes through all of this well, we don't need all that. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and save that, run this, and let's see what happens. Ready, KFA, three, three. Oh, ah, uh, you know what? We did not add it to a slot, so it doesn't know where it is. Uh, should be our problem. So we need to tell it, oh, we do have slot. Oh, Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here. I slot. Weapon slot three. I can put it somewhere else if I want to. I could put it at four. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll put it at four just for fun. So now three should be the regular shotgun and four should alternate between uh, the um, super shotgun and the Gatling gun, chain gun. So this is, if I hit three, if I hit four, there we go. So this thing is devastating because one shotgun blast, if all the, the little pellets hit your target, it's just as powerful as a rocket launcher, but you don't have to worry about blowing yourself up. Let's head over back over to my examples in the GitLab page. And actually let's go to uh, the main directory here. Then we'll go into examples. And again, down to weapons, rapid fire shotguns, and look at my code here. Cause I have one more thing I add to the bottom here, uh, which is the shells for picking up. Let's go ahead and take that. And we will now append that to the bottom of our file. And I've made some changes. Uh, so uh, again, you can modify the message here if you want. Again, if it has a dollar sign, that means it's a variable that's already built in somewhere, but you can make whatever message you want when you pick up shells. Uh, you can see inventory uh, amount to four. Max, I have set to 500. And uh, when you have the backpack, we should double that. We should make it 1,000, which actually might go off the, your, your HUD. Uh, so that's the shells. We'll give you four, but your max is 400. Let's go up here and um, change when we pick up the regular shotgun, uh, da, 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 da. let's have it give you 300, right? That sounds good. Let's go ahead and run that and see if it works. We'll go pick up the shotgun, which is uh, in a secret outside the level. I'll actually pause the game real quick, uh, the video real quick, so that you don't have to uh, watch me get there. And here I am outside. I should be able to pick this up. And I got my rapid fire, but it still says uh, that I only got 50. <laughs> I'm still adding as I shoot, too. That's right. I, I forgot that uh, 
I'm going to go over that in a different video because even though you increase the max amount those items can give you, it's not the max amount that you can actually carry. Uh, so we're going to go over that in a future video because it's outside in a different part of the script. But let's go ahead and uh, change uh, one more thing or a few more things in here. Okay, so we have our pickup message, which says you got the shotgun. And here we'll say rapid fire power. And down here we'll say for the double, we'll say double barrel killing machine. So now we can play it. And again, if I go all the way back out to where uh, that is, and here we are. Now in the top left corner, when I pick this up, it says rapid fire power. And again, it's slowly increasing my ammo as I go. So I've always liked, I've done this before by uh, dehacked scripts or dehacked patches and also by modifying the Doom source code directly. Having a rapid fire shotgun is just so useful, so nice. Uh, I do thank you for watching. More videos come. Be sure to link out, check out the links in the description for the full playlist. Also there you can check out the links to all the examples as well as my website. Think about supporting. I would appreciate it if you can't support me financially. Again, share these videos, share this playlist. I would love uh, for this to be useful for many, many people. That means a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Filmsbychris.com. I hope that you have a great day.